What's going on everybody? This is Sean of Raw Select Music. I am back with another recent record pickups video. Now originally I was hoping to put out something more akin to like a playing favorites or record recommendations video, but uh, I just didn't have any time to really put anything together. So I'm doing the lowest form of content on this channel. Hope you enjoy it. But that a little bit of self-deprecation aside, I have some gems that I want to talk about with you today. Some records that I think are definitely worth giving a listen to and wanted to share some of the goodies that I picked up in a recent record order. So with that being said, yeah, let's talk about these guys. All right, first off, I want to talk about these doubles that I picked up from Coal Mine Records. This is Grip Sweat, Alpha Dog, Ziggy's Walk. And just listening to it on Jet Set's website, I got the impression that I wanted to add this to my collection. And it also helped out that one of the records was uh, actually priced down as a result of it being an in-store demonstration copy. So I was really really happy to find something on coal mine that was right up my alley and at a slightly more affordable cost. So the track that I think deserves to be highlighted on this sort of low tempo soul stomper of a track is Ziggy's Walk, although both sides of this record are pretty much part and parcel of each other. Both have some hard hitting drums, some crunchy guitar, some really cool horn blast, and just like a really good hard hitting sound. So let's highlight this track and and I'm gonna leave it with, if you ever run across a copy of it, you might wanna pick it up, and you might wanna pick up doubles, because there is definitely a drum break in here, and if you're anything like me, I'm always on the hunt for more drum breaks. So with that being said, yeah, let's give this guy a listen. Next up is sort of a random pick. I really didn't know anything about this, but I had stumbled onto it through Jet Set's recommendations and thought I should give it a listen. And I'm pretty glad that I did because it's the sort of stuff that I'm looking for. This is Don Karate, and it's sort of a sound that I've been looking for. This cool mix of electronic music and jazz, all done with sort of a J Dilla swing as well as a whole host of other influences and I really like the little tidbits that I've heard. I haven't had a chance to sit down and really spend that much time with it but my initial impressions of this record are pretty strong and quite honestly I think I should have picked it up in 2020 because by the sound of it this might have ended up on my end of the year list. So let's go with the first track from the A side. This is Ice Age and if you're looking for a track to sell you on this record. I think this one will do a pretty damn good job. I can't really speak to the overall sound of the whole record, but just that opening track has me really curious to listen to the rest of it. And I'm really looking forward to listening to the rest of this record. Initial feelings on this record are pretty strong. And based on that, I definitely recommend that you give this guy a listen if you haven't given it a shot yet. Ooh, I'm I might have to hide this one a little bit. All right, so this next record, I, I, I gotta hide it because this might be a little bit too hot for YouTube right here. This is Her Herton Savini? Salvini. And uh, some title in Portuguese because this is a Brazilian record. And it's the soundtrack to a movie that I've never heard before. It had once again popped up on Jet Set's recommendations page. And it looked like a pretty dope record then. And upon that, listened to some sound clips of it and liked what I had heard. And as of late, I've been looking to really expand my selection of Brazilian records. And this seemed like the perfect one to add to the collection. And I think the one, maybe not at random, but I think the track that stuck out to me was track eight, which is Launa, L-U-A-N-A. It had a sound to it that really caught my ear. So let's give that guy a listen. I'm 
unfortunately, I can't really mention that much more about this record because I don't really know exactly what it sounds like. It is definitely very lush, very much like a soundtrack, and definitely very much like a Brazilian record. I don't really feel like I have the vocabulary and terminology as to how to properly describe Brazilian music, but I dig the sound on this, and I'm looking forward to listening to it a little bit more in depth. So if you're looking for a random ass Brazilian record that probably no one's ever heard of outside of Brazil, maybe even in Brazil. Yeah, this Hairton Hairton Salvini record is definitely one worth checking out. Make sure you hide the cover from your mom, though. Last is the record that actually spurred this order in the first place, and that's the Delphonic Capote Illegal Jazz Volume 1 record. Holy shit, I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands on it, because I thought this record was printed in such limited quantities that I'd never actually see a copy of it. And thankfully, it popped back into stock on Jet Set, and I knew I needed to snatch this guy up before it sold out again. And what is so appealing about this record, it's is some of the most tastefully brilliant edits of relatively well-known and completely obscure jazz, funk, and disco. And it's all up-tempo. It all still retains that sort of live element. And it just seems like it's a lot more dance and listener-friendly to the people that maybe aren't quite so accustomed to this sort of sound. So I haven't quite listened to this in a while, but just going on top titles alone. Let's see, does it say? All right, well, unfortunately, it doesn't say which side is which. So, uh, I'm just gonna have to take a guess right here and now and go with this side, the label side, and pick the second track. That one looked pretty good. Give that guy a listen. Yeah, it's pretty varied. Some of the tracks are a little bit more electronic. Some of the tracks are a little bit more band oriented, but the overall vibe on this record is just too good to pass up. So I think right now, Delphonic and Capote are set to release their volume three of this ongoing series. And I highly recommend that you do not pass these guys up. They sell out really, really quickly and are absolutely indispensable for any fans of house and disco music. So really, happy to have added this to the collection hoping in the not too distant future that I can get volumes two and three and probably my most recommended record in this video that you grab these before everyone else does because you don't want to be caught not having this guy in your record arsenal so that's gonna be it for me today guys thanks as always for watching if you've listened to any of these records for yourself please let me know what you thought about them down in the comments if you want to hear any of these records for yourself please head over to my WordPress blog because that's where I post music links to any of the records that I talk about on this channel. Always make sure that you're here 8 p.m. on Sundays for Live from the Record Room. There you can hear me play records like the ones that I talk about in these videos, as well as the records that I don't get a chance to talk about on this channel. Links to everything, as always, down in the comments. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. So until then, peace out!